Imagine a robot that looks, sounds, and acts like a real woman. A robot that can talk, smile, sing, and even feel emotions. Sounds like science fiction, right? Wrong. This is the reality of Japan's ultra-realistic female humanoid robots. But what are they for? How do they work? Come, let's find out. Japan's ultra-realistic female humanoid robots have once again amazed the world. These robots are a testament to Japan's advanced technology and innovative engineering. They are incredibly lifelike, with movements and interactions that closely mimic those of humans. This high degree of realism sets them apart from other robots and makes them key figures in the development of robotics. So, what are the Japanese engineers actually doing? They are actively exploring the possibilities of applying these humanoid robots in various fields. They are not just limited to industrial applications, but are also being considered for roles in household chores, education, and healthcare. This opens up new opportunities for daily living and various sectors, highlighting Japan's high technological standing. One of the most notable features of these robots is their skin. Scientists from Japan have developed a method to craft living human skin on robots. This gives the robotic finger a skin-like texture, making the robot even more realistic. Moreover, this skin has water repellent and self-healing functions, adding to the sophistication of these robots. Is our future safe when AI robots enter our world? The idea of fully functioning robots has been envisioned for hundreds of years, and this decade is bringing humans closer to that reality. The release of these fully functioning female AI robots is a significant step towards that future. It's still a long way until human-like robots walk among us in our daily lives, but these developments are certainly bringing us one step closer. These robots not only highlight Japan's high technological standing but also provide new opportunities for daily living and various sectors. They stand out for their high degree of realism in movements and interaction with the environment, making them key figures in the development of robotics. Is Japan at the top of the table in the field of robotics? Most probably, yes. Japan's ultra-realistic female humanoid robots itself is the best example. They have once again shocked the world with their lifelike features and advanced capabilities. They represent a significant milestone in the field of robotics and AI, bringing us one step closer to a future where robots are an integral part of our daily lives. As we continue to make advancements in this field, we can expect to see even more impressive feats from these remarkable machines. So what's first on the list? The Kosaka humanoid robot is there, and it is a marvel of Japanese robotics. It's the creation of Hiroshi Ishiguro, a roboticist at Osaka University. Ishiguro has built many robots, but his latest creations are far from ordinary. They look like normal people, and one of them is an android version of himself. Ishiguro constructed his mechanical clone using silicone rubber, pneumatic actuators, powerful electronics, and hair from his scalp. The robot, like the original, has a thin frame, a large head, furrowed brows, and piercing eyes. The android is fixed in a sitting posture, so it can't walk out of the lab and go fetch groceries. But it does a fine job of what it's intended to do, mimic a person. How does Ishiguro control this robot? He controls the robot remotely through his computer using a microphone to capture his voice and a camera to track his face and head movements. When Ishiguro speaks, the android reproduces his intonations. When Ishiguro tilts his head, the android follows suit. The mechanical Ishiguro also blinks, twitches, and appears to be breathing, although some human behaviors are deliberately suppressed. The Kosaka humanoid robot is more than just a technological marvel. It's a tool for Ishiguro's field of research, human-robot interaction, which is as much a study of people as it is of robots. Ishiguro uses very human-like robots as test beds for his hypotheses about human nature, intelligence, and behavior. Japanese roboticists have been leading the way in realizing the aspiration to create robots that offer companionship to humans for decades. In addition to robots that nurse and befriend the elderly and sick, the Japanese have invented robots that can fight fires, carry heavy loads, and perform physical therapy on patients. Is the Kosaka humanoid robot the daddy of future humanoid robots? Most people will give it a thumbs up for sure. It is a significant step towards a future where robots are an integral part of our daily lives. As we continue to make advancements in this field, we can expect to see even more impressive feats from these remarkable machines. The lines between artificial and natural are thus inherently fluid in Japanese tradition, and robots, like humans, live and exist as part of the natural world. 
Which one is next? The Nadia robot is there. It is an advanced humanoid robot developed by the Institute for Human and Machine Cognition, IHMC, in collaboration with Boardwalk Robotics. Named after the famous gymnast Nadia Comaneci, this robot is a testament to the progress in robotics and artificial intelligence. Nadia is designed to have a high power-to-weight ratio and a large range of motion which allows it to function effectively in urban environments. This is particularly useful in scenarios that might be dangerous for humans, such as firefighting and disaster response. What makes this robot different from other ones? One of Nadia's key features is its use of integrated smart actors. These actuators, which are partially powered by hydraulics, provide a high level of speed, power, and flexibility. They also allow Nadia to have a range of motion similar to that of a human, making it highly versatile. Nadia is not just a machine, it's a research platform. It's used to explore the limits of robotic software and controls. With Nadia, researchers can push the boundaries of what is possible in the field of robotics. This robot is designed to be robust and flexible. It has seven degrees of freedom, DOF electric arms and a three DOF electric pelvis, coupled with a two DOF hydraulic torso and five DOF hydraulic legs. This combination of electric and hydraulic actuators allows Nadia to perform a wide range of tasks. Nadia's joints have been arranged to maximize its range of motion. This means that it has a dense manipulation workspace in front of itself, where it really matters, as well as highly mobile legs. This makes Nadia capable of performing complex tasks in various environments. One of the unique aspects of Nadia is its use of immersive virtual reality for teleoperation. This means that a human operator can control Nadia remotely, allowing the robot to perform tasks that require a high level of precision and complexity. What's the next innovative robot? Well, actually, it's not a robot. Instead, it's an invisible skin. It is a fascinating concept that refers to the development of advanced skin-like sensors for robots. This technology is designed to mimic the properties of human skin, providing robots with a sense of touch that closely resembles our own. How are they made? These skin-like sensors, often referred to as e-skins, are made from soft materials and are capable of tactile pressure sensing. This means they can detect and respond to physical pressure or touch, much like human skin does. The development of e-skins involves the use of various sensing principles, including resistive, capacitive, magnetic, barometric, and optical sensing. These techniques, combined with the use of soft materials like liquid metal and magnetic elastomers, have significantly improved the perception capabilities and mechanical characteristics of artificial skin. One of the key features of these e-skins is their flexibility and stretchability. They are designed to be soft, thin, and lightweight so that they can be easily mounted on a robot or incorporated into clothing without interfering with mobility or contact mechanics. In addition to providing a sense of touch, these e-skins are also equipped with other types of sensors. Have you heard of Dragon? Not the one from China, but a robotic drone. The Dragon drone is another super innovative creation in the field of robotics, which the University of Tokyo developed. The name Dragon is an acronym for Dual Rotor Embedded Multi-Link Robot with the ability of multi-degree of freedom aerial transformation. This drone is unique because it can change its shape while flying. The Dragon drone is made up of a series of linked modules, each consisting of a pair of ducted fan thrusters. These thrusters can be actuated in roll and pitch to vector thrust in any direction. The modules are connected with a powered hinge joint, making the drone physically flexible in flight to a remarkable degree. One of the most impressive features of the Dragon Drone is its ability to transform itself to fit through small spaces. It can adapt its entire structure to manipulate and grasp objects. This makes the Dragon Drone more than just a flying machine, it's a mobile manipulator. The Dragon Drone is still a research project and has some limitations. For instance, it weighs 7.6 kilograms and has a maximum flight time of 3 minutes. However, the focus of the research is not on these constraints but on expanding the drone's capabilities, which is a control problem. You've seen how Japan's ultra-realistic female humanoid robots can shock the world with their lifelike appearance and behavior. What if they could learn, grow, and even love? What would that mean for humanity and the future of robotics? Comment your thoughts on this and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.